Ladakh, the land of high passes. This is a special destination for an Indian bird watcher. This part of Tibetan plateau is a dry cold desert interspersed with rocky mountains, small streams, lakes and river valleys. In this tough terrain, life revolves around the water sources. Plants and animals are highly adapted to these surroundings and hence one can find a unique set of flora and fauna in this area which are generally not found almost anywhere else in India. But interestingly, similar species are found in the hot desert region in western part of India. Though common rosefinches were seen right in Leh, we were expecting to see some special rosefinches in this trip. Unfortunately, we could manage only one, the great or great spotted rosefinch, which we found in few locations around Soka. Red-fronted serins or fire-fronted serins are small, cute-looking birds. We found them in multiple locations. Our first sighting of this bird was on the way to South Pulu where we saw a pair nesting right along the road on a crevice in the rock. Red-fronted serins or fire-fronted serins Whites were very common in Sokar area but were generally very wary and never allowed a close approach in the initial days. Though looking brown and drab at first, the beautiful pink rump of the male flashes when the birds take to wings, revealing their colorful side. Tibetan snow finches were the commonest finches encountered in the trip. They were found in good numbers in various places and were a sure presence near the tents erected by the road workers near Tanglangla Pass. The breeding was in the last stages and good number of juvenile birds were seen as well. Plainback snow finches were found in good numbers in Sokar area and is another small, cute bird with an interesting face pattern. Breeding was in full swing and many juveniles were seen running behind their parents begging for food. This kept the parents quite busy as seen here. Brands and plain mountain finches were other two special birds which we hope to see in Ladakh. Though we started with the plain, Brands mountain finches turned out to be the commoner species and were found in good numbers around Tanglangla Pass. These birds also joined the Tibetan snow finches around the road workers' tents. On the second day of our trip, we headed to South Pulu. As we were having tea, this plain mountain finch appeared in the valley. Though this was the first mountain finch we encountered, the species remained elusive for the rest of the trip.
In this trip, we saw three accenters, brown, robin and alpine. A juvenile robin accenter was our first accenter. This was followed by many sightings of adults and juveniles in various locations. The brown accenter was found at the base of Tanglangla and also near Upper Sumdo village. These birds were quite at ease both among the bushes and on the rocky walls where they almost moved like a wall creeper. We found the alpine accenter in real alpine environment. It was snowing heavily at Kardungla on the day we went and when we were shivering with cold and struggling to keep our binoculars steady, this alpine accenter was seen happily searching for tidbits in the snow. <laughs> 